Now that it is summer and temperatures are rising, the chances of getting bit by venomous snakes are higher. Our Emily Elijah tells us how to stay safe from poisonous bites in West Texas during this time. It's at parks like these where you'd expect to find slithering creatures in hiding. But what if I told you that during these warmer months, snakes could become more active closer to home? There's a snake inside of a house, inside of a heater unit that we had to take the entire heater unit apart. Um, and then snakes in vehicles. According to the CDC, about 8,000 people receive venomous bites per year in the United States. During the summer, snakes simply can't survive in heat for more than 10 to 20 minutes, so they're on the move. It is absolutely a problem all year round here in, in West Texas because of the warmth. This means it's a dangerous time for children and pets, being that they're so curious. However, there are some measures you can take to keep your loved ones safe. Snakes want to hide uh, during the day, and so they, you know, you really want to keep your grasses cut short. You want to keep your bushes uh, trimmed. Um, if there's any stacked logs or anything like that, you want to keep those at a distance from your house. Teach your kids to, if they come, if they come upon a snake, to not touch it, to stay away, keep your distance. You know, tell tell an adult. Here in West Texas, rattlesnakes are the most prevalent venomous snake, making their bite deadly, not just to humans but to animals as well. You want to make sure that the dogs have either A, been trained to avoid snakes, or even better, that those dogs have rattlesnake vaccinations. There is a rattlesnake vaccine out. In general, dogs and cats are probably more resistant to rattlesnake bites than people. In order to avoid poisonous bites during a high season for snake bites, it's as simple as trying to keep your distance. One of the common misconceptions is that snakes are kind of out to get people and that snakes attack people and that's not true typically what we see is a accidental interaction between snakes and people you just have to respect that they have venom and you need to to not get bit by them emily elisha reporting for ksan news